<laughs> yeah, I want my ball break. Sunday, December 16th of 2018. Right? Yeah, How are you today? You're looking, you're looking pretty. We're going to gather together, and Sister Ruth is going to come and pray with us today and lead us into the throne room of prayer. So let's. Uh, there we are. Sister Ruth.
Yes. Awesome. 
Sing it again. 
break off chains that would keep us from worshiping you. Break off chains that would keep us, oh God, from allowing your glory to permeate every, every ounce of our speed. Thank you, Jesus. I was lost, I was in chains.
loves me. He loves me. He loves me. Yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. Come on. Just love on him. Love on him. He loves me. sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, O oh God, for him giving him, his giving himself for us. We ask you to bless this bread and bless this juice for the purpose of communion, for remembering the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as you receive. You do not have to be a member of this church. It is important to be a member of the kingdom of heaven by knowing who Jesus Christ is and having confessed him as your Lord and have an active, working, living relationship with Jesus. Amen? And so uh, that being said, we welcome you to children, our parents. Please uh, uh, watch over your children. Make sure they understand and have a relationship with the Lord if you allow them to share with us in this communion. And uh, I'm going to read while they continue to pass out the sacraments. Uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, I will begin with verse 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was um, taken, which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat. This is my body which is broken for you. 
Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner, he drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among them, and many sleep. I, I just felt impressed of the Lord while I was reading those scriptures. I'd like for Pastor Hanford to lead us in prayer when we get all everyone gets distributed. I'd like him for, to lead us in the prayer for, before we take the bread and the juice. If you wouldn't mind, sir. As soon as they get everything distributed, praise God. This is a time for self-examination. The scriptures are read to you uh, after the bread, body, and the blood is explaining what these, this bread and juice represents. Uh, tells us that we are to examine our own hearts. So this is a time to make sure that Jesus is the first priority in our lives. And we lay everything down, amen? Sometimes life can get a hold of us <laughs> and can cause us to get distracted. And so we use this time as a time to say, no, Lord, you're number one in my life. Forgive me if I have allowed myself to become so caught up in other things that I've allowed secondary things to be more thoughtful than you are in my life. But I recommit to you, Lord Jesus, today that you're Lord, you're King, you're the mighty God. If there's anything, you know, I've had some say, well, I can't take communion because I, I'm angry at somebody or something. And, and I, I don't think we ought to let anybody or anything stand between us and the Lord. Amen? Amen. And so just commit that to God, even if you still have the angry feelings. Just, give them, just confess it to the Lord and let the relationship between Him and you be good. And God will take care of that anger. Amen? Amen. Take care of that. He'll even take care of it. Just confess it. Be honest with it. Confess where you're at. Don't let your relationship be harmed. Amen. Brother Hanford. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for reaching out and giving your body for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bringing healing and salvation into our lives, Lord. Yes. Oh, we worship you and we yes, worship Lord. these people in the name of Jesus, yes, knowing that your body was Hallelujah. broken for us, that we can receive from you. Yes, it opens Lord. up a, a, a portal yes, where we can receive all good things from you. We Amen. don't live by our righteousness, but by your righteousness. Yes, we Amen. live by your strength. Yes, by the faith of the children of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not by our Amen. faith, by your faith, Lord. Amen. We reach out and we receive from you even Amen. now Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Knowing that you're going to heal us, you're going to touch us, yes. you're going to save us yes. to the uttermost. Yes. And you're going yes. to take us to heaven some great day. In the name we pray. Amen. 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 Shall we eat? Shall we bring?
<laughs> one time, a long time ago, I, I knew some people were kind of against us and kind of causing a lot of problems and things. And I said, Lord, but they're Christians and we're Christians. So how does this work, you know? And uh, the Lord said, I'm for you. That's all you need to know. And I had kind of forgotten about that, you know, and I was reminded during that song, he's for me. He is on my side. No, he's Praise for me. <laughs> He's for you too, all of you. It, isn't that it, that's a wonderful thing, um, gentlemen? I didn't let you know ahead of time, but if you would please use the NIV version because that's the version I have, and if you would do Luke chapter two verses eight through twenty, it's a lot of reading. That's why I want them to put it up here on the board, and uh, I'll do the announcements later if we get to it. But I want them to put that up because I want you to read with me, all of you, aloud. Repeat, chapter 2. Yeah, let's just do it right now. Luke chapter 2, 8 through 20, all the way. It's a lot of verses, so I'm not going to read it by myself. <laughs> okay, let's go. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone from heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. I think I'd want to go too, wouldn't you? So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you follow the Advent every week, you get the complete Christmas story. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So just today, there is a bake sale after church. And I was kind of, I'm going to tell you, this is kind of funny. I was contacted by somebody, Christina, um, who said, um, are you going to come and help gift wrap in the mall? And I said, sure, I'll come. And uh, then later on, I was contacted. And she said, are you going to bake pecan pies for the gift, uh, bake sale? And I said, one or the other, Christina. You choose. <laughs> Because I was real busy on Friday, I didn't have time to do it that time, so I had to do it on Saturday afternoon. And so she just wrote back one word, pies. <laughs> so there are pecan pies for sale. Anyway, <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so, um, so this is to benefit the East Bay Men's Recovery Center. And uh, if you, okay, uh, and he need, and they need hams and cash donations to buy hams for the Christmas baskets for the families in need. And, you know, we've done this for years, and so people come by and they're kind of expected that we have to do it. So let's help out all of those that can. And ladies, remember, there's no ladies class until uh, January. And uh, there's other things. There's doing gift wrapping in the mall if you want to help for that and all this the encounter conference in January, and we can let you know about all that. Check the bulletin board. But I just wanted to say, he's for me, and he's for you. He's he's our advocate with the Father. All these things have kept running through my mind when I saw and I was about to float up. So God bless you all. I love you. Piggyback on what Ms. Roper said about the ham. So at the end of this week, we're going to be giving out um, hopefully 40, 40 to 45 baskets, more than we've ever done. Um, and we're definitely short on hams. We got everything else just about. Um, so if you'd like to help 
Charles out and donate to, to uh, buy hams and, and fixings and stuff like that. Um, would be greatly appreciated. We want to bless um, this community and we've been blessed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, how are you? Let's pray for the nation of Israel. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your people. We know that they're your people, Lord. We pray that you will bless your people continuously. We thank you so much that we have been drawn into the lineage. Also, Lord, we thank you so much that when we pray for Israel, we're praying for ourselves also. Not that you know, we'd rather you take care of them, Lord. Where your word said that those who bless Israel will be blessed. Amen. 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 We thank you for these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. A lot going on. We've got uh, Christmas wrapping. We've got a big seal going and, and different things. We need some hands. And uh, my wife's bringing two right now. Yeah. And a lot of things going on. So we, we can help out, help out. And the Lord will bless you. Amen. Amen. And I got a little bit of a, let's see, New York cheesecake, uh, Black Forest cherry, uh, homemade mounds bars, uh, let's see, pineapple upside down cake. I have a little bit of a list of what's available right after the service. Fudge, apple pie. Oh, wait. There's two pecan pies, so wait a minute. Never mind. There's only one left. Sorry. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Never yeah. man up here. No. Tell you what, uh, let's all stand. We'll do our faith declaration. We declare the high offering of the Lord and His grace. We are the meek and the Lord of the Jobs and better jobs, benefits, sales and commissions, favorable service, interest and income, rebates and returns, grants, scholarships, awards, checks and mail, gifts and surprises.
to Linda. I intended to all week, but Linda, it's my fault. Forgive me. But um, coming up next Sunday, it's how many? I know I'm breaking news today. Next Sunday is the Sunday before Christmas. <gasps> And so we're going to have a, a program from the kids, and also uh, there will be um, this, you know, it's become a tradition. Uh, I must confess how this tradition <coughs> got started. When we first came to the church many years ago, uh, we just had a few people, and uh, we, we came in in October, and uh, uh, the end of October we moved here, so we had very little time before Christmas and Thanksgiving and all those things and and uh, uh, so uh, I, I talked with Linda and said, "What are we going to do? We don't have time to put a program together. We don't really have enough people to put it together and all that." Because you know, coming from the Midwest, you have to have a play. I mean, that's just the law. That's the way it is. At least that's the way it was in my circle back 40 years ago. And uh, uh, you know, and so I said, "I don't know what we're going to do." And so I was praying about it. And I came. I just thought, you know, it just felt impressed that, you know, this is Jesus' birthday. Amen. And so why don't we give him a present? And so we called it uh, Gifts for Jesus. And so we just said, if you've got a testimony, if you want to sing a song, whatever you want to do, uh, we're just going to come and give our gifts to Jesus that day. Maybe you're a giver and your gift is giving and you want to give something special for a certain part of the ministry or whatever that day or, or whatever, whatever your gift is, we want to put it on display. And if you are a poet, read one of your poems, you know, whatever it is. And so uh, we did that for the first couple of, of years and then uh, we put together a Christmas program and stuff and then everybody kept coming to us and saying, what about gifts for Jesus? And, and uh, then, you know, I tried to stop it because it, it was a stopgap to get, you know, to the other stuff. And all of a sudden, everybody wanted to do the gifts for Jesus. So, so, uh, uh, so now it's a tradition. And uh, uh, so next week will be gifts for Jesus. And we'll give as much time as necessary. I know I'm excited about one testimony that I've uh, already has been shared with me from Roy. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, you will be blessed by this testimony. He's got what God has done uh, in his life. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, if you have a testimony, if you have a song, uh, you know, let's do it. Amen. Let's give a gift. And this is not for anything other than to give Jesus praise and to give back to him and say, thank you, Jesus. We give a gift to you, whatever that gift might be. All right. And out of the gifts that he's given you, you give back to him. All right. So we'll do that next Sunday. 